Hello. Have you ever found yourself dwelling on negative events or an insult? Well, negative events actually have a greater impact on your brain than positive ones. And neuropsychologists refer to this as the negativity bias. And it can have a powerful effect on your behavior, your thought processes and your emotions. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the negativity bias, neuroplasticity, and how we can change the brain. Thousands of years ago, our ancestors were living in caves. They had predators and rival hunter-gatherer tribes. So it was important that they were alert to danger as it was literally a matter of life or death. And it was those who were most attuned to danger that were more likely to survive. Now, from an evolutionary perspective, it's understood that the tendency to dwell on the negative more than the positive is simply one way the brain tries to keep us safe. And because we inherited the genes that predispose us to give special attention to the negative, the brain still performs this function, even though real life dangers to our lives are actually rare. The neuropsychologist Dr Rick Hansen famously said that the brain is kind of like Velcro for negative experiences and Teflon for positive ones. So according to Dr Rick Hansen, the amygdala, which is the brain's alarm bell, uses about two thirds of its neurons to look for bad news. And the negativity bias can really take a toll on your mental health. It can cause you to dwell on negative thoughts and make it difficult to maintain an optimistic outlook. Now, fortunately, Dr. Rick Hansen says that we can work to counter the negativity bias. And one way of doing this is what he calls taking in the good. And what he means by that is when we experience something good, then actually savour it for at least 20 or 30 seconds and quite literally allow yourself to feel good about it. So this could be the taste of good food, getting an unexpected compliment or admiring a beautiful sunset. Now, this isn't anything wishy-washy because what I'm talking about here is actually backed up by research. And research has shown that the longer that something is held in awareness and the more emotionally stimulating it is, the more neurons that fire in the brain and the stronger the trace in memory. So we all know that the brain is the organ that learns, so it's designed to be changed by our experiences. So whatever we repeatedly sense, feel and think is slowly but surely sculpting neural structure in the brain. Now this is what scientists call experience dependent neuroplasticity. So an example of this is London taxi drivers. So if we think of London taxi drivers, they have to memorise all the spaghetti-like streets of the city in an exam called the knowledge. Now, brain scans of the London taxi drivers actually show thickened neural layers in their hippocampus, which is the region responsible for visual spatial navigation. So just like building muscles at the gym, these taxi drivers um, actually worked a part of their brain and grew thicker, denser brain tissue. Now, this has also been found in meditators. So people that meditate on a regular basis have increased grey matter in three key regions. So the prefrontal area behind the forehead um, that controls attention and the insula, which we use for tuning into ourselves and others and also the hippocampus. So the brain takes its shape from what the mind rests upon. So if we keep resting your mind on negative self-talk, problems at work, hurts and stress, then the brain will be shaped into greater reactivity. Now, on the other hand, if we keep resting the mind on good events, pleasant feelings and physical pleasures, then over time, your brain will take a different shape, one with strength and resilience hardwired into it. 
So learning how to use your mind to shape the wiring of your brain is a profound way to support your mental health. So I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And for more psychology lectures, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you soon.